स्टार्ट सर अवर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन हैज ऑल्सो एम्फिसिस्ड दिस कॉम्पोजिट कैरेक्टर ऑफ अवर कल्चर द लैंग्वेज विच इज गोइंग टू बी द ऑफिशियल लैंग्वेज ऑफ द इंडियन यूनियन इट हैज बीन लेड डाउन इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन विल रिफ्लेक्ट द डायवर्सिटी ऑफ अवर कॉम्पोजिट कल्चर देयर इज नो अटेम्प्ट एनी वेयर एट एस्टेब्लिशिंग यूनिफॉर्मिटी फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू द अटेम्प्ट टू रीऑर्गेनाइज द स्टेट रीऑर्गेनाइजिंग द डिफरेंसेस विच एग्जिस्ट इज अ मूव इन द राइट डायरेक्शन इट इज अ वाइस एंड अ स्टेट्स मैन लाइक मूव द एसेंस ऑफ स्टेट्स मैनशिप इज नॉट टू डू समथिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू अ फॉर्मूला समथिंग मे बी आइडियल ऑन पेपर बट वेन वी फेस सर्टेन फैक्ट द एसेंसेस ऑफ स्टेट्स मैनशिप इज टू फेस दोज फैक्ट्स एंड टू रिकॉग्नाइज द डिफरेंसेस और द डाइवर्सिटीज और द डिफिकल्टीज विच एग्जिस्ट एंड देन टू फाइंड अ सोल्यूशन इन विच दीज डिफिकल्टीज दीज डाइवर्सिटीज एंड दीज डिफरेंसेस मे बी रिकनसाइल्ड द प्रेजेंट बिल टेक्स अ फर्दर स्टेप इन दैट डायरेक्शन बट माई रेग्रेट इज दैट दिस बिल डिड नॉट फॉर्म पार्ट ऑफ द स्टेट्स रिओर्गेनाइजेशन बिल इफ द प्रपोजल्स कंटेंट इन दिस बिल हैड बीन प्रेजेंटेड एज अ पार्ट ऑफ द जनरल प्रपोजल्स इन द स्टेट्स रिओर्गेनाइजेशन बिल पर हैप्स दिस एक्स्ट्रा अटेंशन विच हैज बीन पेड टू दर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम डिस्कस्ड इन दिस बिल वुड नॉट हैव बीन गिवन so much time and attention would not have been consumed over this question if we were dealing with a larger number of problems when we look into the totality of the situation in india we look at the problems in a general way but when we isolate one particular problem from the general totality of the picture and look at only one isolated problem there is always risk there is always a danger that we might exaggerate the importance of some particular items one of the reasons why there has been so much discussion over this rather small bill as the honorable home minister described it is because it has been isolated from the general picture of the reorganization of indian states with regard to the particular proposals which have been made sir i do not wish to speak at length at this late stage these are in essence the result of discussions and shall i say if not complete agreement at least the reduction to a minimum of the differences which existed between the different groups the various demands and counter demands of the different states that use of the term state in this connection is somewhat unfortunate if we had talked to provinces instead of states there would have been less of feeling on this issue but he that as it may these demands of the different states have been before the country for the number of years after a great deal of discussion over this particular bill we have come to what may be regarded as more or less agreed settlements the bengal government had made certain demands the bihar government had made certain demands perhaps in a case like this it would have been better if these demands had not been made publicly in that particular manner it might have been better if the governments had discussed it among themselves but whatever 
दैट बी द स्टेट रिओर्गनाइजेशन कमीशन टूक इन टू कंसिडरेशन ऑल द रिकमेंडेशन ऑल द डिमांड ऑल द क्लेम्स एंड काउंटर क्लेम्स ऑफ द डिफरेंट स्टेट एंड दे मेड सर्टेन रिकमेंडेशन विद रिगार्ड टू द transfer of certain territories from bihar to bengal in the northern region and certain territories from west bengal to bihar so far as the territories in the north are concerned unfortunately as the honorable home minister stated today also there was a defect in the proposal of the states reorganization commission but my honorable friend pandit kunjru who is absent today made it very clear in his speech before the house that that mistake had arisen because the commission had been given certain defective maps the idea of the commission throughout was to suggest the redistribution of the territories in the northern region in such a way that west bengal may become one compact state they had made by the particular recommendation which they made partly because one of the rivers in that region is continually shifting its channel and partly because defective maps had been used and pandit kunjru in his speech before this house left no doubt in the matter that if the correct maps had been before them they would have framed their recommendations in a manner which would have ensured that west bengal was one compact state as regards the needs of the compact state i do not have to add anything after what was said by the honorable home minister today for administrative purposes it is essential that a state must be a compact unit because otherwise with regard to the problem of law and order with regard to the problem of movement of goods particularly with regard to the smuggling of materials and goods from india into pakistan in this border region a state divided into two different units with another state intervening in between would face all kinds of difficulties now sir my honorable friend who spoke last also agreed that there should be a compact state of west bengal but he asked why should the boundary of this compact state be 200 yards to the west of the national highways now sir it is obvious that if you are going to make it is a compact state that area which connects the two disjointed parts must be of such a size that it is a practicable proposition you can theoretical give only 100 yards all along the pakistan frontier but obviously such a transfer of territory would not serve any purpose whatever now a suggestion has been made that the national highway with an area of about 200 yards to the west of it would be the boundary line in order to ensure proper arrangements for the maintenance of the road and also for the proper vigilance